We're here with Brianne Marie and the Front Porch Sinners. So tell me a little bit about playing with a band. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I love it. Uh, about three years ago, I said to my friend Lindsay, I started playing guitar and I'm doing these shows, but there is no way I will ever, ever play with a band. I'm not, I, I don't play nice, I don't have good rhythm, but we needed to have a full band to record. So we started putting a band together and this is the right band. These are the right guys. Um, and I, I love playing with them. How much do you um, rely on them to fill in their pieces? Do you, are you, what's your musical background like? Do you write it all out and have it prepared oh for them? Sheet music and the whole bit? No, no, these guys, I'll, I'll play a song and they do their thing. And that's, I think that's how it should be. I could, you know, go into the studio and record a song and say, no, this is what I'm hearing. This is the type of line. But for the most part, it's, it's them playing what they play and they have the talent to do that. Awesome. So what is your own personal music background? You play the trumpet, really? So trumpet, I've played since seventh grade. It wasn't until 2007, a year after my dad died, that I picked up a guitar. He had played and he bought me a guitar when I was a kid, put it in the closet, never played it. Um, later found out that he had pawned it. I was so mad, why, why would you do that? It was my guitar and he said, you didn't appreciate it, gone. So that was a lesson that he had taught me and after he died, that story, kept coming up in my mind and I'd remember, I have memories of him playing his own acoustic guitar at the edge of the bed, played horribly, didn't really know what he was doing. He's watching a VHS lessons, how to play, but I saw that he was happy. So I thought, you know what? I, he owed me a guitar and I owed it to him to learn how to play. And is it about the notes? Is it about the lyrics? What, it's what changed. is it? It's changed. You know, when I first started playing, I, I looked up songs online and play songs that reminded me of him, songs that he used to sing or play on records. So I started playing and felt better playing because I felt like he was, he, I sensed that he was there or at least like a part of what was going on. Um, after a while, I started writing. It was about five years after he died that I wrote a song about him and I saw the, the power that lyrics had when somebody's gone. There were people that would come to shows or they'd hear a song, people that knew him and people that didn't know him. And it, for you, if you knew him, that song meant something to you. And for the people that didn't know him, they got to meet him. So how cool is that, that lyrics would um, leave a legacy for someone? And that's when I started writing my own music. And then you know, with the new songs with Timothy John EP, it's more about writing as a way to feel better. So it's mostly writing for you Yep, not definitely. not necessarily thinking how is this going to be right. received. Once I write it, it's always uh, lyrics first, almost always, maybe a melody line, and then I sit down with the guitar, and that's when I start thinking how is the audience going to hear this, and is that jumbled up? Is that too you know? One of the traveling back east song that we just played was originally over seven minutes long. <laughs> so for me, I'm loving it, that's great, but nobody wants to sit and listen to some of the same chords for seven minutes. So as a, I have to, when I start writing, think about what the listener would, how they'd receive it. Now tell me about what you're working on, what project is in the works, and then where yeah. can we find your music? Yeah, so um, after my brother uh, was killed in a car accident, we sued for wrongful death, and we won that lawsuit. And I took my percent of my money put it into an account, and then that's what's paying for um, the band, the recording, the production uh, for the Timothy John EP. So where are you in that process now? Where we, will we find it once it's uh, done? It's, you know, it's gonna be late spring. We're taking our time on this one. With the last album, I needed to get it out by a deadline because I had uh, Kickstarter backers this time because the money's there and, and the talent is all here. We're just taking it one step at a time to make sure it sounds right. So late spring, you'll be able to find it. I do have a website, it's briannemariemusic.com. And that's where you can get connected on all my social media and, and buy my music, download my album, either iTunes or Bandcamp. If it was up to you, and you're looking into the future, mm -hmm. um, where will this music thing go? Where will it take you? I get asked that a lot. I don't know. Um, I work a full-time job. I have two kids. We have a house. Um, I, I am in concert band at Scholastica, where I work. And so life is busy. But if somebody called me and said, we need you to do a, let's tour on the West Coast with a group or something, I would really seriously look at it. I, this summer, I'd love to do some festivals with the full band. Um, so we, we're just really doing good right now with the full group. So I'd love to keep going wherever they are willing to go. I'm, I'm gonna go, so. Well, good luck yeah. with it. Thank That's you. That's really cool. Thank you for taking the Thank time. You. Best wishes.